Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest method that you can spin up a Kali Linux virtual machine. On your web browser, go to kali.org and on the home page, you will be presented with a download button. Click that download button and you will be presented with two options. Installer Images will let you download the ISO file where you can customize the installation from scratch. But in this tutorial, we are going to go with Virtual Machines, which is a pre-installed VHDX file that you can simply import to your Hyper-V platform and get your Kali Linux Virtual Machine running within minutes. So once you're on this web page, make sure it's selected to 64-bit and in here, depending on the platform you use, you can download the file. Obviously, in this tutorial, since we are discussing Hyper-V, I'm going to click the download button here to download the VHDX file that is meant to be used with Hyper-V. Now, depending on the speed of your internet connection, this may take a few minutes. I've already gone ahead and downloaded this file. Once it's downloaded, it's going to come in as a zip file. Right click on the zip file and extract all to extract the contents. Once it's extracted, you will see another folder with the exact same name. Double click on the folder, double click on the folder again, and in here you will see the VHDX file. And in there you will also see a script that we can use to create the virtual machine. So what we need to do next is open this script file. So I'm going to open it with Notepad. It's basically a script that's going to create this virtual machine in your Hyper-V manager, but we need to make sure that the VHD path is correct. So for me, I'm just going to right click on the VHD path, press Shift key and right click and you will get copy as path. So just click that to copy the path of where the VHDX file is located. And I'm going to go back to the script and update it with the correct path. Okay, so that's it. Everything else remains the same. Bear in mind that the username and the password for this pre-configured Kali Virtual Linux uh, machine is going to be Kali and Kali, but after the machine is up and running, you can go ahead and create a more complex password for your Kali Linux virtual machine. So in here, I'm going to now press Control A to select all, Control C to copy everything in this script. I'm going to open PowerShell. Uh, I'm going to open PowerShell ISE as administrator. And in here, I'm going to paste the entire script. Now wait a couple of seconds for the green button here to become active. Once the green button is active for you, go ahead and click on it to run the script. Now over here, you're seeing that the script has been completed now. So let's open up my Hyper-V manager and confirm that the machine is there. As you can see, the virtual machine has been created. Now let's double click on it to run the machine for the very first time. Okay, so we have to put the username and the password. I'm just going to change the resolution to full HD, 1920 by 1080. This you can customize this according to your preference. Um, in here, I'm just going to put my username, which is Kali, and the password is also Kali, and click OK, and you will be logged into your very own Kali Linux virtual machine just like that. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.